This under eye area has caused me so much grief in my life and I know it's not just me, it's my girlfriends too because they're always messaging me, calling me and saying, Lauren, what should I use in that under eye area? So I have to say, I really feel like I have aged backwards. This area used to look so much it used to just make me look old. I had really deep, deep, deep fine lines. I had creases and I didn't know what was going on until I took control of the situation, started learning what ingredients I needed to put in that under eye area, the products that would work and perform the best. And I just changed my mindset about the whole thing. So today I'm going to share all that I know, all I've learned with you. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a blogger. I am a beauty, skincare, wellness, and spiritual blogger, and I have a website called planetlauren.com that I need to write more blogs on. So <laughs> it's a work in progress, but you can find my book there. I have a book called Manifest Like Lauren, and it's pretty good if I say so myself. So let's get into the under eyes. Now, I'm always into being as transparent, authentic as possible, and I wanna first talk about fillers and Botox because that might be on your mind. I do not have any fillers. I got fillers once about, uh, it was probably seven years ago, I had lost a ton of weight really fast and my face was sunken in and right here, I just felt like I had these weird creases. So I went, I got filler once, it was just a bit and I didn't think it made that big of a difference and I'm sure it's gone by now, it's been seven years. And as far as Botox goes, I do get Botox and you know what, I really like Botox. The Botox that I get is more of a preventative Botox and I get a little bit right here on the corners of my eyes and I just started getting some in the middle of my, I guess you could say where my third eye would be, the middle of my eyebrows and that's just to prevent the 11s from coming through. Now, there's nothing wrong with having 11s, there's nothing wrong with having your crow's feet, whatever, it, I'm coming from the most non-judgmental standpoint, I promise you, but this is just something I've decided to do. The last time I had Botox was the end of August. So at this point, it's the beginning of January and I feel like it has worn off by now. I usually just get baby Botox. So you can see, I'm gonna come up real close and smile so you can see everything going on with my under eye area. I have two lines right here that are poking through. Oh, I have an eyebrow I forgot to brush. Ah. And you can see underneath my eye when I smile, when I you know push up, that I get some lines coming right here which are just, I guess, smile lines. And I have a little bit of some crow's feet right there. So I'm probably due for another Botox session and I will get that when I get around to it. I'm still in that post, I guess, holidays relaxation mode. So my under eye area used to look a lot a lot different. And back in my 20s, I used self-tanner all the time because I was so embarrassed to be as white as I am. I could not accept myself for having such a pale skin color and I felt like it was embarrassing. I needed to look like everyone else and follow the mainstream beauty standards. And to do that, I decided I needed to constantly put self-tanner on my skin, not realizing how aging it was to my skin and how damaging it was to my skin. And that really contributed to my under eye fine lines. I also was not aware of the types of ingredients I should put, should be putting on my skin. And I would use just any creams I came across. And that could be creams for people with oily skin. That could be creams for people with normal skin. I have very dry skin, so I wasn't necessarily using the right things. I can guarantee you if I looked at those ingredients labels today, I would probably pass out because I'm sure that there were fragrances in there, perfumes, which should never be in skincare, that there were pro-drying alcohols, which would just dehydrate and damage my skin barrier and just really age the skin. I'm sure there was isopropyl palmitate, which is a very mattifying ingredient. And for me, that just is a very aging ingredient. So once I started to really take control and inform myself about the right things to use, that's when the magic started happening. 
It just so happens that I am a science geek and I call it geek chic, <laughs> but I have a bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering and I concentrated in biomechanics, which I actually had to fight my dad to let me get that biomechanics concentration. And I was just after the bio part of it because I love anything sciencey that relates to biology. That was always one of my favorite subjects. I have a master's of science in nursing and when I was in nursing school, dermatology was just my favorite. If I had gone on to become a nurse, I definitely would have gotten somewhere in the dermatology field. So I like learning about the ingredients. It's fun to me. It's interesting. Sometimes I even will read some uh, research papers just to find out the latest and greatest. This is just who I am. So Getting into the under eyes, I have two sets of products I'm going to share with you. And I love both sets. One of them totals to $120. The other set totals to $33. I'm not gonna use the words affordable or budget friendly or anything like that. To be honest, I hate those terms because $33 still might be way out of someone's budget. And I'm also not saying that you have to change your uh, eye creams or eye products right now. It's just a suggestion to maybe start looking into the ingredients of the products you're using to see if they're going to really give you what you want in your in the performance of your products, the performance of your creams. So what I do is I always use a serum followed by a cream. And that's because the serum is gonna penetrate deeply into that under eye area. And then the cream is going to kind of sit on top. Think of a piece of bread when you are going out to a restaurant and you order your food, then they bring a bread basket and you have the option to do an oil and vinegar. You put it on the plate and then the bread soaks it up. That's like a serum. Putting butter on the bread would be like a cream. So doing both is going to um, really saturate that piece of bread as best as possible. So we're going to do it both ways because we are overachievers. And I always like to just remind myself, it's a mindset thing too. You know, it's all about confidence and it's about feeling good. Are these things absolutely necessary to do in life? No, they don't define, they don't make or break you as a person. It has nothing to do with that. It's just really, if it makes you feel good, if it makes your skin look healthier and you feel more radiant inside and outside because of that, then this is for you. So my expensive or my pricey uh, eye serum is the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I love Drunk Elephant. This brand to me is just... I feel like it was made for my skin. You can see that the serum, I'm just using a little bit, it's expensive, and I'm just going to place it on the under eye area, and my skin is gonna soak this right in. This particular serum is packed with peptides. So right now, as I'm putting this on my skin, these peptides are gonna send a message to my brain that there is an injury here. So my brain is going to then send signals down to get the collagen to start producing to get more collagen in that area. You can see where I'm going with this. It's going to firm the skin and just really help to minimize that appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's not going to get rid of it, but it is going to minimize the appearance. And I've been using this for quite some time. You have to be consistent with it. You have to use it for six months, a year to really start seeing that difference. So you can see that my skin has just completely sucked this right in. And now all those wonderful ingredients, sorry, I just, I wrote down some of the top ones because I tend to go off on tangents. Is that eye cream on my shoulder? And I tend to go off on tangents and I just want to make sure I tell you everything that I love about each product. The Shaba Complex Eye Serum also contains lots of antioxidants. So the antioxidants are going to kind of turn back that clock. They're gonna make you look like you're aging backwards or aging well, depending on how you wanna look at it. But antioxidants are going to also help to really get rid of any of the dark circles that you have, help to minimize those fine lines and wrinkles and really just brighten that under eye area. It also contains niacinamide, which is just one of those miracle ingredients. The list of things that niacinamide does for the skin goes on and on and on. But it's going to help to really depuff that area and just to brighten that area and keep that skin looking healthy and radiant. Now I'm gonna go in with the Drunk Elephant Ceramide AF Eye Balm. This is a new eye cream from them that I've been using for 
since it came out. Actually, I got it before it came out because I'm a beauty editor, but I love it. I've purchased maybe three of these now and I have an extra one waiting for me in my, uh, my skincare boudoir. I don't know. Is that a word? You know what I'm trying to say? But when I tend to like something, I just start buying it in bulk, especially when I'm back in the U S I live in Dubai. I've been here for, uh, almost 15 years. So you can see that eye cream right there. And this one has tons of ceramides in it. Ceramides are going to really, um, well, so our skin barrier naturally has ceramides. Ceramides help prevent trans epidermal water loss. They keep the skin nice and hydrated, plumped up, bouncy looking. And what happens is as we get older, the amount of ceramides on our skin starts to deplete. So we can put ceramides onto our skin and that kind of helps to fill in those gaps and it's going to prevent that trans epidermal water loss and it's going to make our skin more elastic, more nourished, more hydrated, moisturized. This one also contains fatty acids, which, oh, that is the type of fat that we want, ladies. It gives our skin just so much nourishment and it really just gives us that supple, supple look to our under eye area. I'm a huge fan of fatty acids and they're in all the products that I use. I love to put fatty acids all over my body. I'll take as many fatty acids as I can. So the Ceramide AF Eye Balm is $60. So this little routine right here, you can see why I use so little each time is 120 bucks. That's a lot of money. And for me, it's worth spending money on that, but then I won't spend money on other things. And if you want something though, that you're thinking, okay, I'm liking this idea of doing the serum and the cream, but let's talk about something cheaper. I have these two bad boys. Now, this one is by Andalou Naturals. I have to say, I love this brand. I have not seen much about this on in the social media world. I think that they just don't do much marketing. I actually came across it because I was in a uh, pharmacy and I was just looking at skincare products. I saw this brand and I started looking at the ingredients and I was amazed because all the ingredients were really, really great. And I thought to myself, what is this? So I bought some of the products and I just use them intermittently and I always really enjoy them. So Andalou Naturals Luminous Eye Serum. Now this one is a great one to use if you really suffer, or I don't wanna say suffer, that's such a negative way to put it. But if you're someone that's prone to dark circles and if you have that and you kinda of wanna even out that skin tone and really brighten that under eye area, this would be one to look into. Now for this one, it has this kind of just almost like a lip gloss. But what I like to do is I just sort of paint it onto my under eye area. And it's very lightweight, it's not sticky, and I just kind of put it in there and let that start to seep into my skin. Uh, I love this product. And this one, is there anything else I wanted to mention? Oh, it also has caffeine in it. So if puffy eyes, if you get puffy, this is going to help to reduce that puffiness. Now, when I do my eye cream, sometimes I like to give myself little affirmations just to kind of, it gives me my own little boost. You know, I'm always that friend that talks up their girlfriends and I just, when I see my friends, I just see all their wonderful attributes. I really do. And I'm always talking to them about it and saying like, gosh, you know, you're so, um, like one of my girlfriends today, she's Irish and she left me a voice note and I messaged her back and I said, I could listen to you all day long. I love your accent. And you know, I always remember to not only put that out there for others, but to give it to myself. So when I put on my under eye creams, serums, when I put on my, my face, you know, my face creams, I'm always just saying to myself, you know, I am a confident woman and I haven't always been. I had a really long journey with self doubt and, Oh, so much that I had internally to get through. But I just say I'm a confident woman and this eye cream is just really illuminating that confidence within me. I say stuff like that to myself. Give it a try, even if you think it's a bit silly, you'll be surprised by the shift in mindset that comes to you. So this is a cure. Now, once again, a brand that I didn't really hear much about, I went to Target this summer. When I go to Target, I haul, <laughs> so does my daughter. But I was looking through the Target I was in just had this amazing 
like a, it had the Ulta Beauty in it, but it had this whole skincare, I have a store inside of it. So many brands I've never heard of. So Acure saw the ingredients in these different products and I thought to myself, wow, who's ever formulating this actually cares and knows what they're doing. They care about the ingredients they're putting into their products and they know what they're doing with them. So this one has, this is a great one for those puffy eyes. It has green coffee in it. And that's just that caffeine is going to really help to minimize that puffiness. And it also has lots of fatty acids. Once again, this is a very hydrating, nourishing one. And I find that this one is just such a treat for my, uh, for my dry under eye area. My skin is just so dry. And living in Dubai does not help because I feel like that Middle Eastern sun is also just so dehydrating. So putting this onto my under eye area gives me such a nice drink, but it's very emollient, it's moisturizing, and it just prevents that area from looking tired and just old and dull throughout the day. So those are the two pro or the two sets of products that I like to use. And if you're wondering what I use on my face every day, my, I guess you would say my morning skincare routine, I have a video on that right here.